on your mark. Get set. Go! This frenzied flurry of flying objects is a foul shot volley. The hooping and hollering hot shot who hit five from the floor first will grab the opening $25 tip off and steal control of round one on the show where you just may win by a long shot. You can stop. You can stop. You can stop, sir. We've got it. You can bring those people right up and uh, let's play. It's family double down. Mark Summer! Hi there! Hello! Nice to see you. Welcome. It's Family Double there. Now, folks, I don't know if you noticed what happened to me at the beginning of this thing. I was trying to duck out of the way, and, and I tripped. I, tr I don't get to do that too much in my own show, but uh, I got to do it today. We have some great people here on our stage, and let's meet them. Starting on my left, they are dressed in red. Say hello to the three eggheads and a yolk. Here they are. Now, these people are from the lovely city of Apopka, Florida. Let's all say this together. Ready, ladies and gentlemen? Apopka, Florida. Yes. And their names are Michael, Katie, Michael, and Christina. Now, Christina is a, uh, is a wheelchair athlete. What does that mean exactly? Well, I compete with, in wheelchair races. How far do you go? What distances? All distances of 5,000, 5K. Really? Oh, my gosh. So you must have strong arms as well, huh? Pretty much, yeah. You won uh, many ribbons doing this? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Well, you got $25 on your side of the board. I noticed. Who was tossing the balloons over here? You were, sir. You had won this already. You had the $25. You kept throwing those balloons at this young lady. Why were you doing that? They thought I was going to be the one that got messy all the time. Ah, so we're getting even already. All right, $25. Team to my right is dressed in blue. They don't have money yet, but they will soon, and their names are the Laughing Lunatics. Hello, Laughing Lunatics. They are from right here in lovely Orlando, Florida. Let's meet them individually. Their names are Robert, Rebecca, Jennifer, and Lori. Now, uh, tell me, somebody had a story about uh, soapy shoes. They want to explain this to me? Uh, yes. Uh, I had a very interesting lesson I learned when I went to Universal last month. Mm -hmm. Don't wear a pair of freshly washed tennis shoes in the rain. Why? I'm afraid I left tracks of soap all over, all over. Universal. <laughs> that was you. I was walking around there the other day, and I saw these soapy yeah. tracks all over the place. There was a lot of people watching. It was kind of embarrassing. Kind of weird. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's talk about the rules here on Family Double Dare. I'm going to be asking you a question. If you don't know the answer, think the other team doesn't have a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for four times the amount, and then you would either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Good luck to the laughing lunatics. The three eggheads and a yolk have $25 in control of of this particular question. On the Cosby Show's last episode, what character graduated from college? Would bring you up to $50, or you could dare them. Need an answer. Theo? Yeah, Theo Huxtable, you're right. $25 added uh, right on there to the board. Now, many years ago, many years ago, when I was a uh, lonely warm-up kind of announcer, I did the first warm-up on the Cosby Show, and then when the series happened, they didn't hire me. <laughs> Well, here I am now doing this wonderful show, and I'm having a great time, and listen to this question. An annual plant lives for about how long? An annual plant lives for how long? Bring you up to 75, or you could dare them. Dare. Oh, now worth $50, and uh, you could get on the board and tie this thing up. An annual plant lives for about how long, or you could double dare them back? Need an answer. One year. You are right. One year at $50. We have a tie game. You see, folks, that's why it's called an annual, you see? Well, yeah, you figured that. Who figured that? Rebecca? You're the one who got that. All right. Who wrote the book, The War of the Worlds? Bring up to 75, or you could dare them. I know you know this. Just, just pull it out of your mind there. You could dare them if you'd like. Need an answer. Don't let time run out. Dare. All right. Now worth $50. Who wrote the book, The War of the Worlds? Would bring you up to 100, or you could double dare them back? H.G. Wells. H.G. Wells is right. You add $50. Two very smart teams today. No physical challenges as of yet. Let's see what happens on this question. Who founded the Howard Johnson restaurant chain? Was it A, one man named Howard Johnson, two men named Howard and Johnson, or was it one guy named Mr. Hojo Risen? <laughs> Up to you. Or 25. Well, you could dare them. I think it was a guy in the orange roofing business, quite <laughs> honestly. But, uh... What do you think? Ooh, time Ooh. ran out. Don't let time run out. There was one man named Howard Johnson. You got to jump in there before you hear that sound. And what was that sound we'd hear again? <laughs> oh, so, thank you so much. They're sleeping back there today. Okay, no dare at stake, no money changing place. Control back here to the laughing lunatics. 1955, what Alabama woman made national headlines by refusing to give up her seat on the bus? Bring up to 75. Another one that I'm sure you know, or you could dare them. 
Uh, dare. All right, now we're 50. The year was 1955. The lady was from Alabama. She made national headlines by refusing to give up her seat on the bus. You could answer it, would bring you to 150, or you could double dare them back. Double dare. Now worth 100. You're going to take our uh, first physical challenge, I hope, I hope, I hope. Physical challenge. Believe it or not, Rosalie Parks. I thought you'd know that, but apparently not. We have two uh, people down here for a physical challenge. Join me. I need mom. And, uh, oh, you're going to join us? Come on. We are going to do a $100 physical challenge. Join me up here. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a, a cookout here on, uh, on Family Double Dare. Now, um, I'm going to give you a choice. You know what? Would, would you like to get your mom messy? <laughs> uh. that okay? Mm. Okay, I tell you what. You go over there and see Robin, okay? And, and ma'am, I would like to put some buns on you. More buns <laughs> than you've ever seen in your entire life. Just put, yeah, you go ahead. Put that on. Pretend it's a, it's a nice sort of a jacket that uh, you wear on a regular basis. And oh, we're going to see you in just a second. We'll come back and see this. Over here, folks, we have some mustard. And let me show you what this mustard looks like. It is in this container. And when I say go, what you must do is take this mustard and start squeezing it in this direction. Can I see you do that for me, please? Just squeeze it. Uh. There you go. That's, now, can you squeeze a little bit harder? Let me see if you can squeeze it really, really hard. Just hold it on both sides and go like that. Can you do that? that oh, that's perfect. You've got it down now. So when I say go, we are going to have your mom standing right over here, center stage. Could you join me right over here? I need you to stand right on these double Ds, okay? And you notice she has a baseball glove, and in that glove is a cup. Now, you may want to put it right there in front of your face. Can you go, mm, babe, mm, babe, mm, babe? She can't get it on. She can't get it on. <laughs> sure you can. You got it on right over there, just like that. And all you have to do is squeeze in that direction, and if you can get it to land right there and have it drip down into that cup and get it past the line in 30 seconds or less, you will become $100 richer. Otherwise, it's going over to the red team. Understand what you got to do? Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go! Squeeze it over there. That's the right idea. Squeeze it over there. You may want to go to the next one now. Go to the next one. Robin, go to the next one. We need to get it in that container. Keep on squeezing it. Come on, Mom. Get it in there. You got to get it past the line. Go to the next one. You can do it. Squeeze it over there. That's the right idea. Can we get it in there? We got about 11 seconds. We want to get it past the line. Come on. Get it in there. We need to get it past there with five seconds remaining. You got just under the line. You know what that means. $100 goes over here to the red team. Nice try. Let's get back up over here. We now have $200 for three eggheads and a yolk. And, you know, these physical challenges are difficult sometimes. They don't work all the time. But I bet you we'll see several of them accomplished today. We have a great obstacle course. And we have this $25 question. If the entire cast of Melrose Place were parachuted under the streets of Baghdad, and they should be, what country would they have a tough time getting out of? Bring up to 225, or you could dare them. Dare. Dare. Okay, now worth uh, $50. If the entire cast of Melrose Place were parachuted under the streets of Baghdad, what country would they have a tough time getting out of? Or you could double dare them back. Double dare. Oh my gosh, it's now worth 100. Are you going to take a physical challenge? Iraq. Iraq is right. Add $100 to the eggheads of the yolk team. Now, let me ask you, were you playing strategy, or did you just discover the answer at the last moment? Strategy. Strategy. Way to go. That's the way to play this game. Not many people play it that way. I love when that happens. What are frog larvae called? Dare. Looking at me like I'm speaking a foreign language here. Dare. Or you can dare them. Dare. All right. Now, with $50 to you, bring it up to 100 What are frog larvae called? Or you could double dare them back. Tadpoles? Yes, you've got it now. Add $50. You now have 100 100 to 300 Lots of money. One physical challenge. And uh, this next question. Oh, that sound means it's the end of round one. And take a look. We have $300 over here to the Egghead and the Yolk team. They have the lead. And we have $100 over there. We have a $50 toss-up. And we have lots of time and lots of fun and lots of mess coming your way. So uh, we'll be back with more of Family Double Dare right after we do this. Two on Family Double Dare. That means all the dollar values win, win, would be doubled. That's right. And when you hear this sound right here, 
that means the game is over. What do we have down here? We have some goopy towels. They are full of green kind of gack. And when I say go, you pick one of these towels up. Go ahead and do that right now and send that over to your mom. You can just pass that over. Over to your sister, over to your dad. And now what you must do is, no, don't do it right now, though. Squeeze it inside there. <laughs> then you send it on back and back and forth, or you can drop it down here. It's up to you, but you want to get that liquid past this line. You'll be doing the same thing over here. The first team to do that gets $50 control of round two, and that's what's really important. On your mark, get set. Go! Set it down there. Come on, Fast and Furious wins this race. I'm going to get so wet, I'm going to get back over here. And uh, the red team has $300, 100 to the blue team. And we would like to see that blue team pick up some more points right now. That's what we'd like to see. But it looks to me like the red team is going to oh, continue to keep this thing going unless the blue team picks up some steam. It's now just about neck and neck. Remember, you want to get past the line. You want to send those towels back. If you don't do that, you're going to run out of that supply, and then you can't get the liquids in there. And right now, it looks to me like the red team is cutting it close now, folks. Just getting near that line. Blue team is forgetting to send the towels back, and I think that's what's costing them. Keep squeezing those towels. Remember, it's $25 and control of or it's actually $50 control of round two. Blue team, you're going to have to hurry now. We need to get past that line. Send those towels back. Come on, guys, you can do it. Now it's really close. I think they would have been wise to send those towels back on the red team, but they have not done it just yet. And the blue team may be able to pull this out. The red team did it. You can stop. <laughs> the red team did it. Let's go play some double there. Oh, my. here. <laughs> now, Michael, Michael's all 14 years old. He's full of this green gack. He wins. He goes, yeah, and decks me in the face with all this stuff. I can... <laughs> Nicely done. Have a seat over there. We now have $350 <laughs> for three eggs and a yolk and uh, three eggheads and a yolk. $100 still on the Laughing Lunatics. But in this round, it's $50, $100, $200 on a double dare. Anybody could win this game. Let's carry on. What body gland secretes insulin? You got the $400, or you could dare them. Dare. Now it is worth $100 to you. What body gland sec secretes insulin? Is that the pancreas? You are right. At $100, you now have $200. Pancreas. Rebecca is the savior on this team. She knows some great, great answers so far. Shanghai is the most populated city in what country? Take you to $250, or you could dare them. You need an answer. China? China is right. Absolutely. $250 now. Just $100 away from tying this game, and we are in round two. Joey Lawrence plays Joey Russo on what TV situation comedy? I'm sure you watch it all the time, or you could dare them. Blossom? Yes, right again. <laughs> on, uh, on the NBC television network at, uh, what, Monday nights, I think, following The Fresh Prince, this next question could uh, tie this game. The shot heard round the world is a phrase associated with what war? Tie the game. World War I? Oh, sorry, it's not. It's the Revolutionary War. No dare at stake. No money changing place. Control back to the red team. Three eggheads and a yolk. What's the name of the B 52's 1992 album? Up to $50 now. If you dare them, it's worth $100. Dare. dare. That's what it is. What's the name of the B 52's 1992 album? Or you could double dare them back. Double dare. Now we're at $200. You're going to take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. Good stuff. That's what it's called. We have a physical challenge for all four of you. Join me down here. I need everybody. Everybody, everybody. Join me, sir. Oh, this is going to be nice. Uh, you know what? You look like a strong man, and you look like a strong man, and I want you to go right over here. But don't you think that women are really the stronger sex? Of course. And you can take absolutely anything, can't you? <laughs> of course. Let's see if you can take this. Come over here, okay? Stand behind this uh, glass. It's, it's Gardal. Remember that from Colgate from many years ago? I need you to put uh, your, uh, your toes up here to this line, and we have some apples. And these apples must be shot off your uh, supposed heads, and how do we do that? Well, folks, down here we have some arrows that look like plungers, and what you do, sir, when I say go, is pull that back and shoot it in this direction. Now, you can shoot for any arrow you want, but if you knock down this apple and that apple, some uh, interesting things will dump down either on this young lady or on this young lady. If you knock both those apples off in 30 seconds or less, you will get $200 and a huge lead. Now, if one of you shoots this one down, then you can both shoot for this one. Whatever you want to do, but we want to see this happen. Good luck. <laughs> On your mark, get set, go! Send them over there. Oh, that's very close. That's the way to do it. $200 at stake. It's called William Tell. And 
Ryan, don't take too much time setting those plungers up there. Yeah. Oh, too high, too high. Split the difference with 17 seconds. Oh, you got to go a little bit higher. And oh, so close. Come on, come on, come on. We want to see him in 11 seconds. You got to get one of them at least. Come on. And there's one. There's one. We've got five seconds remaining. Come on, we'd love to see it happen. Oh, oh now wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you really want to have this happen to you? Yeah. Oh, well, heck, let's just do it then. Huh? What do you think? $200 over there. Let's play some more family double there. Come on. $500 now for the laughing lunatics. This poor young lady. She looks like she came from Mars now, the way this whole thing happened. Okay, it's now uh, 500 to the laughing lunatics. They are in control of this $50 question. Most species of starfish have how many arms? Think about it. Worth 50, or you could dare them. Five. Five is the answer. Add $50. And now there's a $200 lead to the Laughing Lunatics. Here is our next question. Olympic National Park, home of Mount Olympus, is located in what U.S. state? Need an answer. Uh, Washington. Yes, you're right again. <laughs> the state of Washington. Beautiful place. I've been up there. It is unbelievable. All of a sudden, the Laughing Lunatics have taken the lead, and they have a, a big one right now in science. Who is the uh, Petri dish named after? Is it Julius R. Petri of Germany? Is it Peter von Berger of Austria? Or is it Robin Laurie Petri of New Rochelle? <laughs> Who is it? It's the first one. Uh, Julius R. Petri of Germany? Yes. Right again. Add yes. another $50. <laughs> well, you know, this game has a funny way of uh, seesawing back and forth. The blue team's ahead, the red team's ahead, blue team's back ahead. Let's see if they can answer this. In the William Armstrong book, Sounder, what kind of animal was Sounder? Is that a dog? Yes, it was a dog. <laughs> Lots of money now. Get to keep all that money. I have to go there for a loan, I think. In Encino Man, what actor plays the caveman? Bring it up to 50 more, or you could dare them. Need an answer. Polly Shore? No, it's not Polly Shore. This person has talent. Brendan Fraser, as a matter of fact. And, uh, and no Derek steak, no money changing plays. Oh, oh, oh thank heavens. Uh, that sound means it's the end of the game. It was $700. The Laughing Lunatics have won today's game of Family Double there. You get, you get to keep that money, and you get to go to the obstacle. Do you like Polly Shore? Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> all right. We have a little joke here all the time about Pauly Shore, but uh, we, we get that money for you, and uh, we get to meet you at the obstacle course. You folks get $350. Did you have a good time today? Yeah. I'm so glad to hear that. And besides that $350, Doc, give him some neat gifts, would you please? No problem. Sketchers are fun shoes. Sneakers, boots, sandals, and shoes with lights in them called S lights. Sketchers are comfortable and fun to wear. Sketchers, it's the S. Laser Challenge V2, the ultimate home laser game system with digital light and sound effects. Works indoors and outdoors. Are you ready for the challenge? From Toy Max Incorporated. To the course, Blue Team, next on Family Double Dare. You won $700, you and your family. How much of that do you think you, uh, you earned? I probably earn none. I'll probably get none. No, you'll get a lot. I'll make sure. I'm going to talk to your parents, make sure you get some. This is our first obstacle today, Jennifer. And this is a Lake Double Dare. Now, you get on this, and you, uh, you can float across. You can paddle yourself across. And if you find out it's too difficult halfway through, you get off and run across, and you grab that flag, and you get this prize. Yo, homie. From Casio, a rap keyboard with 25 instrument sounds for rapping along, plus a voice effector and a built-in microphone. It's so fresh. And it's only from Casio. This is the brick wall, and what you're going to have to do when you get over here, I'm going to show you, is put you up right up over here, and you have to wheel yourself all the way across through this wall. You will grab that flag, you will pass it to your mom, and what do they win here, Doc? Bushnell's high-tech astronomical telescope, sleek and contemporary, designed to appeal to young and mature viewers alike. Explore the world beyond. From Bushnell. This is the nose knot. You answered a lot of tough questions today. What do you do for a living? I'm a manager of an apartment complex. But you, uh, boy, you just must read a lot or something, huh? I used to. Uh, yeah, I was really <laughs> impressed with your knowledge. Now, here's what I want to get impressed with. How quickly you run this course. You get on your back, you reach up that nose, you find that flag as quickly as you can, and you'll win this prize very quickly as well. The Singing Machine, a portable home entertainment system that makes you the entertainment. Perform and record your favorite hits with complete musical backup by The Singing Machine to set arrangements. It's The Singing Machine. Well, sir, uh, how athletically... Uh, Fit and inclined are you? 
Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay, now this one involves climbing and also uh, some jumping. The flag is way up there. Come around over here. I'd like to show you where you're going to end up. You have to jump over that pole, come all the way down, pass that flag, and Doc, tell them what they'll win here. The Harvard Supreme Table Tennis features a heavy-duty frame and competition top for years of family fun. Harvard Sports, professional quality product for today's active sports enthusiasts. You swim much in the ocean? You're from Florida. Uh, not much. Uh, is it scary to go out there because of all the bad sharks? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it would scare me, too. Well, we have a shark here, and look what they found. Oh, my gosh, he's eating, uh, well, here's somebody's glove. I don't know what else is in there. We find some life preservers and some fish, and uh, there is a flag in there. And the quicker you find that flag, the quicker you'll win this prize. The Rico Shotmaster Zoom Super is a compact zoom lens, 35-millimeter camera, with all the features needed to capture important family memories. And it's from the one and only Rico now, let me tell you, when you get over here, I want you to just go directly underneath, okay? Because that's, that's where the fun is. And then you pull on that, and all sorts of green goo will come down on you as well as a flag. You pick it up, you pass it, and you will win this. The Tiger Electronic Collection of games for the entire family, from 2XL to Silly Friends for kids, to Notability, Showman is Pigs, and Speedy Graffiti. Fun-filled games for Mom and Dad, too, from Tiger. This is the works. Now, you need to get up here, and uh, you can pull yourself up like this, and then get on this conveyor belt, and it'll take you all the way across, except I don't want to go just yet. You'll be doing it. Come over here. Let me show you this part. You can lift this up. It looks heavy, but it really isn't. And before you fall off, if you can reach that flag, that'll help you. But if you fall down like this, you reach up, you grab the flag, and uh, you'll win this. The Apple Macintosh Classic. It's easy to set up and use, and it runs thousands and thousands of applications, from word processing to desktop publishing programs. And it's only from Apple. Number eight is Mush Mouth, and with about, oh, six seconds or so, I bet you could lift that up. I bet you could slide down there, and I bet you could reach up here and grab this flag, and if you have this flag in your hand in 60 seconds or less, tell them the grand prize, Doc! They're going to be going to Club Med in Extrapa, Mexico! Club Med has family resorts where kids learn to water ski or fly on the trapeze, and parents join in or do their own thing. This year, take home a Club Med vacation in Mexico! That is uh, Doc Holiday. This is our course. And uh, where are they going? Extapa, Mexico? If they do this all the thing? Yeah. Oh, Extapa, Mexico, Club Med. Ooh, that'll be great. Well, I hope they do it. We have 60 seconds on this clock. We have a great audience. And uh, keep your fingers crossed. I think they can pull it off. On your mark. Get set. Go! Come on. Let's go across. Oh, she fell in. Come on. Let's get over here and grip that flag. Then we're moving over to obstacle number two. Hold on. we got to get the exchange. Get the exchange. And OK. Whoa. You can reach through. Now go through. Go on through. Reach for the flag. And go ahead. Pass it. Hold on. we got to get the exchange. Get the exchange. There you go. Up to go. Number three is the nose with 39 seconds. Get underneath there and find that flag. Where is it? Here comes number four. This is the halfway point. They need to be at about 30 seconds here. And that's exactly where they are. Number five is the shark. Can they pull it off? Let's hope so. Down to 23 seconds. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You fell in the pool and Slowed you down a little. Find that flag. We want to find it. There it is. Pass it over there. Here we go. Pull on it. Pull on it. Pull on it. Pull on that. Pull on that. There it comes. Whoa. Take the flag. We got it. Whoa. Take it out. Oh, that's the other one. Robin, that was quicker night. It went down to three seconds. Oh, you can stop right there. We'll meet you on this side. Doc, tell them everything they won. They got the games from Tiger, the camera, the table tennis, the singing machine, the telescope, and the keyboard. <laughs> You can stop right there. Whoa, we're all done. We had a great time here today on Family Double Dare. You got all gacked up. You got all messy. You won $700. We hope you had a good time. We had a spectacular time here on Family Double Dare. But then again, we always do. We're on Nickelodeon, 5 o'clock Eastern Time, 4 Central. Join us every weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. And this is your announcer, Doc Holliday. We'll see you next time on Family Double Dare. produced before a live audience in Nickelodeon Studios, Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida.